It's here! It's arrived! The Ark! The Ark for Marianne's new book coming out September 2008, Razor Girl. It's the hotness, I'm telling you. Um, in fact, there's even an ex exclamation point on the cover, which can only mean great fun hijinks and mind-blowing action-adventure. Um, there's sex, right? Yeah, there is. Okay, okay. <laughs> there's not sex. Uh, no. <laughs> um, Razor Girl Love Cuts Both Ways. We're talking a book that alternates post-apocalyptic and pre-apocalyptic scenarios. Um, now, Molly, the name Molly comes from something. I'm going to make you tell that story. Yeah, um, a razor girl is actually a term that was coined by William Gibson, one of the, or the father of cyberpunk. And so he had a heroine in his book, Neuromancer, and um, actually one of his short stories dealt with a heroine as well. Um, named Molly Millions, and she was a, what was called a razor girl, and she had, it was sort of like a cybernetic samurai, is how you would describe it. So she had razor nails and ocular ah. implants and, you know, all this kind of special cybernetic enhancements. Yeah. And so in this book, um, the girl's father, Molly's father, is obsessed with Neuromancer and, and William Gibson, and so he thinks that doing something similar to his own daughter can help her survive the uh, coming apocalypse. And everyone thinks he's in a you know, end of the world nut and doesn't believe him that it's coming, but um, he insists that in order for her to be safe, she's got to get these these enhancements. And it, it's sort of hard for her because she wants to be an everyday normal girl, but she's got all these superpowers and she's sort of, you know, bright man looks Ooh, like a freak, her. but... Daddy means time. well. Daddy means well. <laughs> he really thinks it's her only chance. And it does help her. It does save her life many times from the yeah. zombies that are... Because once the apocalypse hits, there are mutations galore and there's a whole you know, breed of once humans, now zombie-like creatures who are, have a thirst for human blood. Yikes. Yeah. Now, is this a standalone? It is a standalone. So you can jump right in, not worry about having missed anything? Yeah. Or? It's actually almost two books in one because there's the whole story with the pre-apocalypse when Molly is still in high school and how the world starts to fall apart and turn bad. There's a super plague and everything and everyone's getting sick and dying and the zombies are coming. And then there's the post-apocalypse six years later when she gets out of the, um, the nuclear fallout shelter and has to deal with the world as it is that day that, that's gone away. And the day she gets out of that and looks around and goes, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not a good moment. That, that's what I call a bad day. Yeah. That's yeah. a bad day. Uh, Marianne's book out September 2008. It's a show me book. So part of that really cool series um, where you're seeing some really groundbreaking stuff. And um, I, for one, can't wait. I'm probably going to see if I can sneak this into my bag when I go home. <laughs>